Hey everyone, thanks for joining Learn to Play Games. My name is Lance. I'm Tam. And we're here today to play Neomorphosis Infestation. For those of you that are watching us live, please go ahead and leave some comments down below. We'll be able to answer them through the video. And for those of you that catch on this later on, go ahead and drop some comments down below as well if you have any questions, and I'll do my best to answer them or swing them over to the designer to get some answers for you. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and play through the scenario that we were given. And with this one, we have two main objectives. First off, we have to find the two different keys to open up the door to Sector 7. Once we've done that, then we need to make it into Sector 8 and be able to get the pass key and activate it in the terminal to cleanse the air system and eliminate the alien threat in our station. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump on into it. So during the game, each round is broken down into four phases. The first phase is going to be the starter round phase, which initially there's not going to be a lot going on with that until we get into the game a little bit. The first step with that is going to be handling the SIP uh, control unit here. And if there's any emergencies out that are going critical at this point, we would handle those. The room would become compromised, and you'll see that later. If you're not quite sure what I'm talking about just yet, that's okay. From there, then, any emergencies that are currently in play would tick down one point on the track. And then finally, if there was any emergencies that had not been revealed, we would also do that at that point. From there, then, it's going to move into our player's turns, where the first thing we're going to do is handle the Xenobiology, which is one of the new features for this campaign that they have done, where we are going to have these different tokens that we're going to be manipulating and rotating to line up so that we can get some bonus benefits to our attack and defense. So the first thing we're going to do, I think, let's go ahead and line up these two here so that we can get a bonus attack on the eggs because we're going to have plenty of eggs probably throughout this. And then let's do, let's do this one here so that we can get a plus two bonus against uh, the rippers. And, I don't know, what do you think, Tim? We've got this left. We could get a bonus defense against Rippers, or uh, we could get a plus one attack against the uh, lar larva worms. So, um... Uh... The reason I feel the Rippers are going to be a little bit more dangerous with us, so I think the additional attack power will probably help us. Well, this would be defense on this one. Or defense, I'm sorry. That's all right. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, so once you are done with that, then it'll move into our cruise turn, and we can choose the order in which we activate. So do you want to start us off, or do you want me to start us off? I'll let you do the all right. on that one. Okay, so I think I will start with the chemist, and during each one of the crew members' turns, they get three actions to do a variety of different things. So I'm going to start off by opening the door as my first action. And then my second action, I'm going to go ahead and move into this room. Now, anytime you move into a new room, your room, your turn is going to be paused. And then you're going to reveal the alien card in that room. And you it'll tell you where to place things. So I'm going to have two alien pods. They're going to come up. They're going to go into uh, each room is broken down into a number of different sectors. So I'm going to have one in sector one and then one in sector two. Then I'm also going to have a slug come out in sector three, and this middle room is, or this middle section is broken down into two sectors. So then we have a slug to deal with, and these guys are really nasty. They have a defense of eight, and they also can do four damage if they're successful in hitting us, so we definitely want to take care of that guy quick. All right, so then it goes back into my turn, so I have one action remaining. So I can either try to attack the slug or go after the egg, or I could try to move, but anytime you're in the same space as a alien, you also have to make an agility check in order to get away, and it's not easy usually. With the slug, he, his evasion is an eight, so I would have to roll at least a nine, and my evasion bonus is only a four, so I have to roll a five or better just to be able to move away from him. So I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to try to attack. So with my attack, I have a plus four to it, and he needs at least an eight or over an eight. So I need to roll a five or six to do a move. So let's see if I can get lucky here. And I did. It's a six. What do you know? <laughs> Couldn't have planned that better if I tried. 
So oh, one damage. I don't know about that. <laughs> so it's over. Do you want to go next? With yeah. Layers? Let's. Uh, what are we? What are we needing to? to... Well, the slug is bearing down on us, so it'd be be beneficial to to handle him. Uh, your miner's the best for that. He's he's your yeah. attacker. Uh, otherwise, I think I will go ahead and I'll I'll come in and put the miner here. So okay. my first move. All right, entering. Okay. And I am. I'll go ahead for my second move. I'll go ahead and attack. Okay. You're you get a plus, plus five, five bonus, so you're gonna need a four. Or higher to score a hit. We just need right, one more to finish better. him off. Oh, it's uh, a one. It. <laughs> so you got one action left. You go All ahead. right, I'll do it again. Hit him again. Try to at least. Come on, Tim. There, there it is. Go. All right, so the slug has been eliminated. All right, so that was it for your miner's turn. So it can either be the mechanic or I can go with my bio engineer. What do you think? Um, I'll go ahead and go. Okay. What do you want to do? I'm going to go ahead and move in with my mechanic here. I think I'm going to go ahead and... I want to see if I can squash that egg. Okay. So that second action, you're going to attack. Your attack bonus is a 4+, plus, and the eggs have a defense of 8, so you need a 5 or better. All right. Let's see what we get here. Eggs have got some hard outsides. Ooh. That's definitely a crack, so you can go ahead and reroll that. All right, let's try this again. Yeah, it's a four, so not quite enough. Mm. You're able to put some scratches in the egg, but not enough to finish it off. Mm, 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 mm. So that right. was what? So that was you second move in, you attack, so you got one more. Yep. Yeah. All right, let's try it again. Okay. And ah, just, no luck. It was not meant to be. All right, so then it's going to be my turn. I'm going to go ahead and move in. I'll move up. So, and then I will take this item here as my last action. So I get to draw an item from the deck, and I have a toolbox that's going to give me plus one to an attempt for repairs and stuff. All right, so at this point, all of our crew members have gone, so it's going to move into the enemy's turn, where we're going to reveal an enemy card and see what happens. So let's find out what we have here. So with this one, first off, we're going to... The eggs are going to hatch, so I'll let you roll the red die, because you love rolling red dice. Oh, no. I or don't like the egg dice. <laughs> it's always bad for me. <laughs> well, that that die mostly is bad anyway, so it's it's okay. Uh, all right. All Not right. my fault. You made this, this a red die. <laughs> all right, so we have a Hydra in there. Okay. And then go ahead and roll it again for the other one. Which There's actually one good side in there, yeah. so don't feel bad if, if you roll bad, because... Uh... See, that's the problem. I will hit everything but that, so... There's always a first, I suppose, but yeah. And it's another... Another hydro, see? Well, that's all right. Okay. So from there, then we'll move over to the other side of the card, and it's going to have certain aliens attack the walls. So first off, slugs, rippers, and larva. And the hydra are considered larva, so they are each going to attack the wall... The wall's defense is a 5, so each one of them has a bonus of plus 1. So if they roll a 5 or higher, they're going to do damage to the walls. So uh, with the first Hydra, you want to roll, Tim? You want to roll low. Now you want to do bad. <laughs> now I want to do Very bad. Very bad. <laughs> hey, okay, so Three. one more for the other Hydra. All right, I'll try it again. Good one again. Uh... You yeah, didn't do it good enough. Okay, so the Hydras were successful in doing some damage to the walls, so we'll place an emergency face down that we'll have to deal with during the next round. From there, then, if there was any Rippers on the board, they would attack and follow their sequence, which there aren't right now, and then we would also follow suit with the Slugs. So luckily, we took care of that Slug during that first round, yep. otherwise he would be doing some nasty stuff to us now. Finally, we're going to perform any special activation, which we don't have any. And then at the end of the alien phase, all aliens are going to neomorphize. So they're going to change and grow a little bit more powerful. So with these guys, each one of them will have a red token placed underneath them. In the final game, these are actually going to be little clips that will clip onto the bases to make things a little easier. Instead of having to place tokens under there. Then we're going to reveal an alien uh, modification card. And this one is going to give those guys a plus two to their attacks and plus one to their damage 
So we definitely want to take care of these guys really quick now because they're gonna they're gonna be mean. That would give them a plus three to their attack and three damage if they can if they hit us. So so they yeah. they hatched, they neomorphosized, <laughs> and then they got a boost. Yep, they grow quick. <laughs> All right. Uh, so that is the end of the alien phase. So then the final step in the round is the end the round effects. So the round marker is going to move down one space on the track. And if it ever reaches the bottom space and we have to move it down, then it's also going to going to cause another emergency to come out. Okay. And another important thing to point out is if we ever have to put an emergency out and there aren't any spaces left, we lose the game. So we got to make sure we manage those as they all right. as they go out. So, all right. So now we're into a new route, right? Which means we get to mess with this yes. lovely board. Yep. So we have no emergencies right now. They're going to go critical, and we, we don't, don't have, have any that are out right now that we have to move down. So then we're going to move into revealing a new one. Right. So, so we're going to flip that over. All right. And what do we got? Cameras offline. Disable two rooms. So, that means we're going to take one of these yep. tokens and we will place it and scan a, scan two rooms here. Yep. So now we cannot take that action until we clear that emergency. And then you're also going to place the red token on the first the top slot. Because we basically have three rounds roughly to, to resolve it. Okay. Um, and then... It moves back into the crew phase at this point because we don't have anything else to deal with during the start of round. And so it's we're I don't think we're gonna modify our xenobiology tokens anything or any um, as we're not gonna get yeah, we don't have any yeah. bonuses yet for the um, the hydras that are out there. So So and, we'll just it's over here, we'll just leave that be it's hidden behind our section there. So Okay. okay. Um, All right, so then it's into crew. Uh, do you want to start us off, or do you want me to go? I don't know. The way the way this is going, I feel like I'm going to be starting things off with bad news. <laughs> well, I mean, your miner's got the best shot, and these guys only have one hit point. So as long as you can... All right. And they only have an armor of seven. So you need to roll a three or better to, to, to drop them. All right. Let me go ahead and go start off with him, then we'll go ahead and go for this Hydra right here. Okay. And I need to roll total better seven. Mine's a five with so that three or better. Yep. Come on. There All it right. is. That's starting to finish it there. So okay. All right. As one action. Yep. I will go ahead. I'll move over here. Okay. That's my okay. second action. Squish another bug. Another win. <laughs> Uh, I can't. Thank you. Oh, you're yeah, right. same. You're right. Yep. yep. So I will go ahead and third action, I'll go ahead and try to squish that one. Okay. We'll see what happens. Come on. Uh, uh, <laughs> it's see. a one. Toy you you dropped name. your hammer, dude. All right. So <laughs> then it goes on to the next crew member. Do you mean to go next? Sure. Go uh, ahead. I need to. So I'm going to go with my, my bioengineer. I'm going to move down one space. My bioengineer has an, a weapon that allows him to attack one space away. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I have a four plus. So I'm going to need a four better to hit the alien hydro. And I got it. We all start with sixes, it seems. Yeah. <laughs> so the hydra is done. And my last action, I will close that door behind us because it's never a good idea to leave doors open. All right, so that's it for him. Uh, I guess I'll go next. I'll go again with my chemist. She's gonna go ahead and open this door into this room, and then I'm gonna move down for my second action. And my third action, I'm going to go ahead and try to handle that emergency. So anytime we do that, we're going to check our computer skills, and we're going to roll a number of dice for that. We're trying to match those. Numbers. So we need to roll at least four pips. We need a beaker and uh, a diamond kind of thing. So let's see how how we do here. I got a beaker, and I've got uh, the four pips. 
I did not roll the last symbol we need, so if you could put uh, green checks on the four pips and the beaker. That's one there. And the beaker? Yep. And then anytime one of us does a check, if we don't complete the emergency, then we're going to place our token there, as each one of us can only try at one time. We've ex exhausted our mental capacity for repairing <laughs> each each thing. So, <laughs> all right, uh, that is it for me. So it is over to your mechanic to go. Hmm. With her massive flamethrower. Yes. <laughs> so, I can move into here. You sure can. All right. So your turn will be paused. Then this will be revealed, and we're gonna have alien pods in areas one and two. So area one and area two, and then a ripper in area one. Yes. He was just waiting around the, the side of the, the door. Corner for there, huh? All right, you got two actions remaining, and you do have a ranged weapon. Yep. So and let's see. Rippers only have one hit point, and we do have a plus two bonus to attack them, if you want to attack. Yeah, let's let's go. Let's let's clean house. Okay. Let's roll, let's see, so I need, Rippers have a defense of 8, so normally you would need a 5 or better, but you also have a plus 2 bonus there, so it's down to a 3. Alright, it's a good thing I picked Ripper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you just got it. <laughs> yeah, Talk about well. suspenseful. <laughs> Alright. I got some questions. Um, no, it looks like, uh, BGG's taking care of it for us. Okay. All right. So then you have one action remaining still. Yeah. So let's squash an egg. All right. Egg squatcher. Yep. <laughs> and they are, yeah, they are an eight and you do get a plus one bonus from our xenobiology. So I need five. Right? Five. Four. My math's not good today. <laughs> it is Friday. That is me. true. Ugh. <laughs> it's back to one. <laughs> <laughs> that die does not like you. No. All right. So at this point, then, again, it's our crew phase is over. So we will move into the alien phase. We are going to roll for hatchlings again. You did such a great job of that last time. I'm going to let you do it. <laughs> what? <laughs> so we'll go with this one first. All right, let's see what happens. Uh, you like hydras, apparently. Lots of hydras. Okay, and this one here. How about how about a blank? Uh, no. Another hydra. Another... <laughs> there are other <laughs> aliens. <out there. laughs> I'm just making sure there's no other. I'm just... Yeah. Okay, so then the larva and rippers are going to attack the walls. So I will go ahead and roll for these. Thanks. Uh, for this one. Oh, this goes away because we did defeat them, so that will go away. So the first one is a four. He has a plus one bonus for five. Almost there, but not enough. And the second one is a four again. Not quite enough to damage the wall. So no new emergencies this round. That's good. I guess. Then the larva, it says one larva moves up to two areas to attack a terminal. Then all larva move two areas and attack the closest door. And luckily we don't have larvas, right? So, yes, we do. That's what we the uh, hydras are. So what? we're going to have this hydra move up, and he will attack the terminal. So I'm going to let you roll for that. Terminals have a defense of four. So if he rolls a four or better, he is going to damage that terminal. All right. So this is where I need to roll low. Yes, low would be great. Ones are fantastic. Ones are marvelous. <laughs> that works. That works. Okay, so that was that one. And then... All the larvae are going to move up to two areas and attack the closest door. So this one's already in the room with the door, so I'll go ahead and roll for that one. And he doesn't damage the door, and then I'll let you roll for that one since he's in that room as well. And you damage the door. So the door will go open, and then we'll place a damage token there, so we'll have to repair that in order to close it. Overall, not too bad. Then, if we had any rippers out, they would be able to activate, followed by slugs, which we don't have any of either right now. And then, again, special activation, there aren't any. And then finally, at the end of the alien phase, all aliens are going to neomorphize again. So, both of our hydras will get a little upgrade. So, we'll place these back under there. 
your miner's going to have his work cut out for him. Unfortunately, I think he's a little farther away. <laughs> no. And what do we get this time? Uh, again, plus one, plus one to attack and plus one damage. So not quite as good as the first time, but still pretty nasty. Okay, uh, then we're done with the alien phase. So end of round. Go ahead and move the round marker down one space. Close one. And then it's the beginning of the new round. All right, so let's see here. All right, so again, we don't have any that are going critical. No, nothing going critical. But we do have one out now that's active, so we get to move that down to one mark on there towards critical. That's not good. It's in caution. <clears throat> warning, warning. Right, right. All right. Uh, and then we don't have any crew members down right now that we have to worry about for recovery. So Compromised sectors. Yeah, no compromised sectors yet. So no new emergency. Mm -hmm. I think that's that's uh that's all we have to do. Okay. So then it is going to again we can choose to change that around. I think we're pretty happy, happy with, with where that. we've been yep. with this one. So so then it is back into our cruise turns to go. So we still do have the emergency that we need to worry about, and then we do have some aliens here that are causing us kinds of problems. So. Sure. So, so what do you think? Let's see if we can fix that. Okay. I'm already in the room. So you're not I'm, by a terminal. You do have the miner. Yeah, I you can do. Here. You can try it with him if you want. He's got uh, computer three. skill of three, so get three of the dice. All right, let's see. Let's see. Right, so we just need a square, that, that diamond square thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, oh. No. 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 But that one is correct. That's correct. Should I reroll uh, that one? Yeah. So All go right. ahead and reroll that. That one. Come back. on, not diamond looking thing. <laughs> oh, oh, and of course I go circle. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so then go ahead and place your token there so we know that you've checked or done that emergency. So, um, whole Vila is asking, or Villa is asking, the number on repair token is random, and what does it mean? Uh, so the repair tokens is. I see. Uh, you're. I would assume you're referring to the door. Um, with that one, it's a repair of seven, and so you would take an action to repair that door, just like any other kind of action that you would do. Um, other than that, I'm trying to think if there was anything else. So we have to roll better than a seven in order to repair it as one of our actions. Yeah. Yeah. So I, okay. I think let me know if that's if that answers your question. Otherwise, uh, let me know and I can see what else I can come up with here. All right. Um, <clears throat> so uh, that was your first action. Go ahead and place your token up there so that we know that you took that action. And then what else do you want to do? We could try something fun if you want to risk it. There's a drone, right? Well, there's a drone, but you're also there's an alien oh, there's in this terminal here. One. Yeah, you could try for some electrical feedback. Let's let's do and, that and and see if you get lucky. So I've got two more. You got two more actions if you want to try that. It is yeah, that is a little risky, but long distance shot. Zap him. <laughs> <laughs> Fried hydra. I don't like seafood. All right, you got it. <laughs> did I? You did. We've been looking for that symbol. So you did. You fried him. He, he is a fried hydra. Great. But, uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I needed it for that. You did. <laughs> All right. So hydra's gone. Yep. That works. That's the uh, second action. Yep. And so you got one action left. I guess I shall move. Okay. It's back over here to move towards the door. Yep. All right. Uh, then I will go um, with my chemists. I am going to uh, move one, two, and I'll move up here for three. So then her turn is done. We still have your mechanic and my bioengineer left to go, which both of them have ranged abilities. Yep. So what do you think? I think I will go ahead and try to take out that Hydra since okay. I have the ranged attack. Sounds good to me. Doesn't really matter. All right. Let's see. So that's four. No bonuses for no that. No bonuses. And he's got a defense of seven. So you need to roll a four or higher. Yeah, yep. so four or higher. 
Come on, six. There we go. <laughs> nice call. <laughs> nice call. Calling your shots. That's the way. Maybe that's maybe <laughs> I just need more that confidence. Is <laughs> that is the way. <laughs> uh so that was one action, right? Right. Yes. You got two uh two actions left. And you're moving towards Yeah, knee, so you're getting the key there. I don't know if I should enter there, there and there. So we can split up. So if you if you're feeling like you want to go down, you can do that. I can go with you with the uh, with my bioengineer and give you a hand down there. Yeah. Um, hmm. Now there's either way item here too. So I mean, you could move oh. in there and grab that item. Let's let's do that. But that this is my third action though, right? But you've only attacked so far. Oh, okay. right. well, then I go ahead and do that. Here's my second, and I will take that item. Okay, so let me take the token, then you can take that top card of the item. All right, give me something nice, please. Life support gear. I get to ignore all effects from the fire suppression system or compromise each sectors. That's that's really nice. It's not bad. Yeah, so that'll just go down in a second. All right. That is that turn. That's, uh, so it's over to... To my guy, um, my repair skill isn't the best, so I don't think I'm gonna work on that door. So I'm gonna move in one, I'll move down one, and I will open the door. And that's everybody. So then we're at the end of the round, so our round marker is gonna move down. We are moving right along into the fourth round. Oh, geez, and we forgot to handle that emergency again. <laughs> <laughs> we got one more round to do it. I and, tried. And it's going to be these two, so... I just failed badly. Yes. All right. Uh, so we have to move the, the marker down again on the on the emergency. So we have this is our last round before this goes critical. We need These two are the ones that have to do the checks, too. So we have to basically either go back up or we have to get into we here with that. Yeah, the aliens before we do this, so don't we... Oh, yeah. Yeah, we do have, we have uh, take an card. alien card. We forgot, right? Yep, we yep. didn't do the alien card. Okay. That was... Which, right now, we have no aliens out. Which is a good thing. Yes. We do get to clear this again. And there there are no aliens to attack the wall, so we don't have to worry about any new emergencies. Yeah. And then there are no aliens there. And there are no end of round or uh, end of uh, special features or anything like that that we have to worry about. So that was good. All right. Okay, well, makes so, me feel a little bit better. So now we can start our new rounds. So, yeah, we moved, we moved our moved thing down, down already. We moved that already. Yep. And so it's right back into our turns. Yep, because we don't have anything else we can apply. So, all right. All right. Um, boy, that's that's uh, that's risky then, because we know when we go in here, we're going to have aliens. And if we get an alien in our this first portion of the room, we're not going to be able to move into the terminal to activate it so that's going to be i almost feel like maybe we should risk try to fix the the uh our emergency over here well that's what i'm trying to debate because with these these are the only two that we have that can do that check that emergency repair yet to go and they have an option. They can either move up here and play it safe, and each one of them would have one action to try to repair, right. or we can take the risk and continue moving down here. If we can get into here, depending upon what this card comes up as, then we can attempt to make the repair. See, I'm a normally I'm a cautious player. <laughs> but, you know, I'm rolling like... <laughs> like not the greatest person right now so let's go ahead <laughs> well either that or we do have the the miner in the back um, he could move one two three and trigger the card he wouldn't be able to help us out at all but at least then we would know where we stood and that way we can make a, a better decision with these two i mean it's down there. bad and bad <laughs> <laughs> uh okay let's do the miner Thing. Okay. That seems to be the lesser of two evils. Okay. So here's what? Here's one. Yep. Here's two. Here's three. Okay. So then we'll reveal. And we have ooh, that's a bad one. <laughs> two eggs. What one in sector one and two. One ripper in sector one. 
and a slug in sector three. So, well, I mean, that was that puts the miner in a rough spot, but we know for a fact we're probably not going to be able to get past. We're not going to get past him to get to the terminal. So one of us should go up here to work on that to see maybe if they get lucky. Let me do that because I have a better computer skill. So I'll move up here and try that. Are you running away? No, I'm handling the emergency. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't look like that. I'm just saying. Oh, well, sorry. Oh, well. <laughs> All right. So we just need that one symbol. We got it. We got it. So we stopped the emergency. So All right. It's, uh, you can go ahead and clear that. Awesome. And then you can take the red marker away as well because we uh, can take that action again. Scan two rooms. And back on the board. And that is all my player can do. So I still we still have the chemist to go and then uh, your mechanic. So I don't know if you want to go. You have range, so you could do an attack on that ripper and try to, to take care of him. From that room? Yeah. Yeah. All right. I guess I have to since everybody else ran away. Just saying. Hey, I stopped the emergency. <laughs> Luckily, luckily. Well, um, <laughs> all right. So I need to let's see. We get a bonus. Yep, we get a bonus two, two bonuses. So that's technically a five, and I need to have would it be six, six. Sorry. Yep. And, and then, the uh, hydras are their defense is an eight. Is that a hydra? Or not a hydra, a uh, ripper. Uh, there, there's an eight. eight as well. Yeah. So I need to roll a three mm -hmm. or better. Yep. All right. He just has one health, and you rolled a two. Ooh. <laughs> well, it bounced off my miner. He was in the way. Oh, of course. Blame the miner. Right, we'll do it again. <laughs> that, here's a second action. Okay. That is a crack die. You get to roll that again. <laughs> oh my gosh. Lucky twos today for me, huh? I like twos. Okay. All right. Four is that the works. Ripper is dead. All right. So he is done. You got one action remaining. <laughs> you could. It's up to you what you want to do. Uh, I'll join my other buddy over here okay. in the room. Right. Not not all the way in the room, just kind of. <laughs> no, 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 no. The lucky thing is, she's got she gets a plus one defense, so if she's in the room with somebody else. All right. So then it goes over to my chemist to go. I am going to. I'm going to first. I'm going to use the terminal to open a door so what do i what do i need for opening the door on the terminal what symbol uh, uh what's that, one? that one's self-destructs no remote control doors that is the little triangle okay. beaker looking That's thing beaker. all right so i just need one beaker to be able to control the door and i got it so i will do that and uh, then more dice well, and then I think I will try to control the drone, and I just need one pip to do that. So just one pip, and I got it. One pip. So with the drone, they can move. The drone can move up to three spaces and take an action, or you can do an action or, and then move. With the drones, they're not allowed to attack aliens. You can use them for repairs, which drones are so good at repairs, you don't even have to roll for it. They just automatically repair. So I'm going to move him one, two and repair this doorway and he gets to again do that for free as part of that action and so that was my second action and i i am not as risky as you i will not be moving into that room this turn to to reveal those aliens See, we have enough down here that i think we have that, to deal with that's why you ran away i knew it so i'm gonna do another action to try to, to operate a door so i need another beaker and I did not get it this time, so I am unsuccessful with that. So my turn is done. And that's everybody, right? All four of us? I believe so. so. Uh, yep. Okay. Uh, then it's the alien's turn, so let's find out what we got here. So again, we have a couple of uh, eggs there. Anything about a Hydra would be great. <laughs> <laughs> Hydra's been working out pretty well, though, so far. And it's a worm. Okay. And the other one? You asked for it. No, I got, got it. it. There we go. Hey, 
That Finally. five is not hatching. All right, so then uh, the larvae are going to attack. So we have a the worm that's going to attack the walls first. Worms have a attack bonus of plus one. So a five or better will damage the walls. Great. We don't want. Okay. Two. Good. <laughs> and then we also have the slug, which is in the room. He is going to attack the walls as well. Unfortunately, slugs are a lot better at damaging. He is a plus two. So a four or better will damage the walls. You totally did it. <laughs> yes, so go ahead, place, place a new uh, emergency there, just face down. And that would be where? Anywhere? Yeah, any one of those terminals is fine. Yep. I'll oh, give us a give the tokens back too. We... Oh, we get to reset. Yes. Awesome. Thanks. All right. So that takes care of the walls. And the one thing I want to point out with that is, which I don't think we really have have had come up yet. If you have more aliens that have to attack the walls after you've already done damage to them, they won't attack. You can only have one emergency from damaged walls a turn. So even if we had more aliens at that point, they wouldn't continue attacking. So next, the rippers would go, which we luckily eliminated that ripper, so we don't have to worry about that. Uh, now the slug is going to go. All slugs move up to two areas to attack crew, attack closed doors, and route. So he is going to move. First off, we'll attack that door, as that is in his space. See, should I have wished for a hydra last? So now we need a one. We need a one? No, two work too. <laughs> I was I was I going like low so that you would you would like hopefully have to like like next to impossible <laughs> one. Jeez. All right, so he doesn't damage the door, but now he is going to attack our crew. So you get the choice. You could have him attack the miner who has the best defense, or if you don't want the miner to take damage yet, uh, she is in the she does have her ability. Right, so, so she's a four. So it's four versus five. So it's up to you. All right. I guess uh, minor it is then. All right. Do you want me to roll or do you want to roll? <laughs> I mean, I, I neither know. one sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Go ahead. You do it. So then I can blame yeah, you. Yeah. Oh, well, I figured as much. All right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and it's a five. So four damage on your minor. So he's, what, half dead? Almost. He's got nine hit points. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Hey, I'm here to help. Okay. Uh, that was all the slugs. So then we would perform any special activation, which is normally going to be like the boss activating in that. Uh, so we don't have anything to do with that. And then finally, at the end of the round, the aliens are going to neomorphize again. So first off with the worms... Uh, I'll let you place tokens under the, both of them. And then, so the worms are going to get a plus two once their health. So now worms they have slugs. Uh, the worm and then the slug. So the worms just got a lot nastier. And then the slug is going to get, or the, yeah, slug is going to get plus one to attack as well. So nasty. Okay. Uh, that is it for the aliens. So, end of round marker, move down. And a new round starts. Yep, and that's all we pretty much have at this point. So, flip that over. Boy. What's so this one? Fire suppression failure. Okay. So, that disables our release halon. Okay. So, that would go it's here. And that one's a fun one because it looks like we have to have. All four different symbols to Yeesh. repair that one. Okay. This one's now. Yep. Green. All right. Uh, then it is into our crew phase. You want to go or you want me to go? Uh, well, might as well since you're way over there. So. <laughs> um, <laughs> so much for a team. We're dividing and conquering here. You're dividing outside the door, dude. <laughs> I'm just saying. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and use the miner. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and try to... Both of them have two hit points now. All right, so... And both of them are really nasty, so... Two hit points. Swing's a little better on defense. So I need to roll... He is an eight. Eight, so I need to roll four or better. Yep. 
and we have no bonuses no for bonus slugs. slugs. All right. Four. Better. Is that broke? Um, yeah, go ahead and check it. Yep. Yes. <laughs> Let's try this. You're going to lean on a wall. Four, Four better. Or better. There you go. There we so go. That's a damage. I'll leave this right here. Bottom. That was your first. Oh, I got to do it again. Yeah, you're probably... That kind of just... That was just a dud. It just <laughs> dropped flat. All right. All right. Last final, one. Final action. We'll take that. Get a little bounce here. <laughs> you bounced okay. it too. All right. So that's it for him. Uh, you want to go with your mechanic next or you want me to go? Uh huh. Yeah, I'll go with my mechanic. I need to do something. All right. Let's try it again. I don't. A one, a two, and a one. You've broken the die. <laughs> <laughs> it's because there's a red die on the table. That's what it is. Okay. I, I forget what I need to do here still. So it's a four. Yep. And he's got a defense of eight. So, so five or better. Five. You took out the miner. Yep. <laughs> All right, last one. You're working your way up. A couple more turns and you'll have another. <laughs> All right, well. Oh, man, you are in some. Deep trouble there. All right. Um, my bioengineer is going to move down two, and then I'll attack into that space. You know what? How about you run the terminal? Because the terminal's over here, so I'm not going to be able to do any damage. There's a terminal right there. Well, yeah, but you can only, if you're talking about the electrical feedback. Oh, it's in one thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, it has to be I did. in that room. I Unfortunately, all the aliens that. are over here. <laughs> I can do that to take out the egg. But uh, so he's going to go. I'm going to go ahead and target that alien there as I have a range of one. I need a five or better as well. Ah, oh, that was a lot of spinning for nothing. All right. So I wasn't able to help you there. Uh, my chemist is up top. I will go ahead and activate the terminal and try to do the repair. And I've got three pips and the uh the middle uh whatever that one is over there so i've got two out of the four here's my token the open diamond something like that and her second action i'm gonna go ahead and try to do electrical feedback to at least get that egg out of there so that we don't have a whole nother group of aliens coming out there I need the this one and a pip, right? That yeah. So the alien pod has been eliminated. And my final action, I am definitely not moving up into that room. So I'm gonna try to uh, activate a door. So I need the beaker. Uh, no, she's she's not very good at operating doors right now. It seems. All right. Uh, Fortunately, that is our turn. That that's uh... <laughs> oh no. Okay, so we have no eggs right now, so that's a plus. Uh, then the rippers and slugs are going to attack the walls. So the slug is at plus three, so a uh, three or better will damage the walls. You don't give me very many odds. <laughs> Now you roll a six. <laughs> that is not correct. <laughs> Come on. So go ahead and drop a new emergency face down on our panel. And then we have Larva. So all Larva are going to move up to two areas to attack crew. So he's in the space with you. So you have to choose again who he's going after. Uh, he has a plus one bonus to attacks, and he's going to do four damage if he connects. So you really want to roll low if you're going to roll. If you want me to roll, then I don't have to. <laughs> She's going to have to try to take it. You're going to have her take it? Uh, well, he's down to four. He's got five. He's got nine hit points. So he wouldn't go down completely. It's up to you. I mean, you can have, you can have her go. I think I want to spread the pain. Okay. So you're gonna have me roll. Yep. Oh boy. 
It's a hit. Yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. You you let me have it. I knew you were you gonna do that. Consistently roll well. You roll low most of the time. Alright. Uh so that was the larva. We rippers would go next, which we don't have any. Then slugs, all slugs are gonna move to two areas to attack crew, attack closed doors in route. So first off, the door. And that's a damaged doorway. And then you have to choose who he's going to attack. And do you want me to roll again? I'm, I'm two for two so far. Oh, might as well. Who am I hitting? What does he mean? How much damage does he do? He's four. Uh, my minor. All right. A three plus three more. That'll do it. Fortunately, that extra bonus that he got from the Neomorphosis guy. So both of your guys are ready to go down. We need to get some health. All right. Mm. <laughs> then the Neomor the aliens are going to Neomorphosize again. So with the worms, they are actually going to transform into a Ripper. And the slugs are already Neomorphosized, so they're not going to build up anymore. Now... There is going to be a hardcore mode in the game, which if you play that, you will actually continue adding cards to them as they continue to build up. So luckily we're not playing hardcore mode, otherwise so that saying, guy would be even worse. You're saying it can get worse than it already has. Well, yeah, and on top of that, if when they new morphosize into a new form, they also heal all their wounds. Mm. So that would have been even even worse. All right. Um that is everything. So end of round marker go down, and then uh, we'll also move down the current emergency one space, and then reveal the new one. Connectivity error. Uh -oh. Error. Disable the active bait drone. Uh oh, drone's down. Not good in sector seven. Mm -hmm. Uh, where's the drum? Uh, I think it's like halfway down in the, the pit. Yeah, there we go. Okay. All right. Uh, and that is it for that. So uh, it's back into our turns. <clears throat> what it may be. Yep. Uh, I will go with my bioengineer first. I'm going to try to, to deal with that slug. I still need a five to wound it. It's a two. That's a miss. I'm going to attack it again. There it is. There's a six. So that'll take care of the slug. And I will move into the room as well. So that is all I can do with my bioengineer. I'll let you go next. You got a ripper in there. He's only got one hit point. At least there's a bonus it's in the same space so i can all attack so yep let's go with the miner okay oh my gosh <laughs> well let's let's double check so you you have a five bonus there's plus two to uh from the xenobiology and it has a so I, yeah you yeah that was a nine so you did defeat even with a two oh, wow even with a okay. two I was I was about to be like okay this is I gotta make you feel a little better all right so that was your first action your science isn't the best but you could but I try got, I also to have a double touch that's true so you could try to do that which would let you craft an item that you desperately need to heal. So you might want to potentially do that. Okay. Okay. Let's do that. All right. So you're going to go ahead and roll the die and then add your bonus to it. And that'll let you craft an item based on what you roll. That was good. That's exactly what you needed, basically. You can't, you wouldn't be able to, you can't craft the death shots as that's a seven, but you can craft either the purple pills or the stem pack. Uh, the purple pills will give you plus three health. The stem pack will give you plus five. I'll take the step back. Okay. So you gain that, and then you can spend an action to use it if you All want right. to right away. So then that'll go away. And that uses up. And then you'll five. heal five. Five points. Yay. 
that works. Yes, definitely. All right, uh, that was your three actions, right? It is, it okay. was. So then you have the mechanics still. Um, you could try to craft again, or... Yeah, there's a lot of options. We have the pass key. We also have an additional panel for our xenobiology. There's an item. We've got all kinds of options. I'm going to go get a... I'm going to go for the item. There's one, two... Right, tell me he's Three. rumbling. Three? <laughs> Three. Three? Okay. All right, that gives me an item. Something good. Uh, instruction pad. Okay. I'm not quite sure. There's so it's a affinity. guaranteed pass on a science check. So if you build an item, it's a guaranteed success. You wouldn't have to roll for it. Oh. Oh, there we go. I know what I'm doing my next turn. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, so that just leaves the chemist, right? That was the only one that I... Because I went with him first, then you went with your two. So I think it's just the yep. scientists, right? It is two. And we haven't done much work oh, on that. Oh, yeah. So we'll have to do that next turn. All right. So I am going to try my luck on that other emergency that's out there. See if I can do anything with that. All right, so I got one of those, and I got two pips. So I've got two out of the three on that. So that'll take care of my one of that. Um, I don't know if I want to go into that room yet. <clears throat> I am not. We have enough to deal with at this point. So I'm going to go down and I will close this door because I have had no luck with the terminal. And we can't close it right now anyways because it's damaged. So that is the end of my turn. So then we're into the alien phase. Yep. <clears throat> we have no alien eggs right now. There are no aliens to attack walls. And none of the aliens are going to activate. And there is no special activation. Take the drop so, breather. Yes, we got a little bit of a breather there. But now, uh, that's going to move, move down. That. Yep. that needs to get addressed. We're yeah. critical. <laughs> There's that. Okay. All right. All right, then it's back into our turn. Who do you want to go with? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and try to use her. Okay. I'm going to move her back over here. All right. I'm going to go ahead and use my instruction pad. Okay. To get the, what was it, the five? So you have to be in here to do that. Oh, one. really? Oh, yeah. all right, two, sorry. Nope. There we go. So that'll get you the, the purple pills, because that's all that's, or you could get the death shot. What is the death shot? Does that... So the death shot's a, a weapon, more or less. It's a single use. It get, It's a plus five, and it does four damage. I'll do the purple thing. Okay. Purple pills. Purple pills. That goes the same way. way. Yep. And that's her turn. Yep. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and try with my... I'm going to go ahead and move my miner to the terminal. Okay. It's three as well. Yep. And we got that. Yeah, but you didn't say which one you oh, got. Oh, well, that was... Sorry. So go ahead and uh, pick which one you're going to go after, then go ahead and there roll this one. Oh, you're going to go after that one? Yeah. That, that was, was your intention? That was my intent, but that's okay. Okay. So which one are you going to? This one. The bottom one. Okay. Oh, wait. I just realized that one. The other one's critical, right? Yeah. <laughs> that's why I was asking. All right. Well, then I changed my mind. I'm going for that one. Okay. All right. You need a beaker, and you got the one. Got yep. that one. Yep. So we just need the one other symbol. And then I'm going to go for my other... Are you going to do the other one, too? other one, too. Yeah, might as well. Come on, minor. Yeah, there's a crack. Need to re-roll that one. Nope. Nope. All right. So no luck. Okay. No um, bueno. All right, so then... I'm going to move over and try it as well. 
Um, the top one. We need a beaker. Triangle. Oh, there it is. Beaker. So we took care of that. And I might as well try the bottom one as well. We just need that other box. And we, we got it. have it. Alright. So we have taken care of the emergencies at least. Good job. Way to carry the team. Well, you you helped there too. It's about time you did something instead of run away. <laughs> I knew there was gonna be a counter to that. <laughs> Alright. Uh so that was all I can do with with that player. Um then we still have your mechanic or my chemists to go. Um So I'm going to move her back up, and why not? Let's let's just do it. Get this over with. All right. So we have three pods in areas one, two, and three, and there's a ripper in area three. So he's all the way down. All right. I will. I'm going to try to attack. That pod that's in the room with me. And not enough. I needed at least a four. Alright. Um so well the drone won't won't activate the, the enemies. I know, but now now they come out and get us. Well they'll they'll shoot through me first. <laughs> so much for being cautious. Well, like she's been standing up there for a while, so I felt I know. like you felt like you should do something for once. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it is your mechanic to go. Uh, is it my mechanic or do you win? What'd she do? Uh, I tried to do. I used all my stuff up to try to roll. No, that was a minor. Oh, I forget which one's which. Or did you? No, with her, you got the purple pills. Yep, I did. Okay. I, I have completely finished. Okay, so we are done then. Ugh, that's not good. <laughs> well, that's why I was wondering why you went in there and triggered that, because now you've just unleashed... Oh, well. Things. Let's see what happens. All right, so first off, we have the alien eggs. So the one that's in my room is some worms. And you roll the other two. <laughs> uh, more worms and worms all around it is worms all around okay. so then we have worm uh, the larva and the rippers are going to attack the walls so all four of them so I'll do the first one oh yeah we don't even have to bother there's another emergency <laughs> I'm really good at that Oh, go ahead and clear those tokens, too. Then we have all of are going to move up to two areas and attack the closest terminal. So the one that's in there with me is going to attack the terminal. And it damages the terminal. And I'll flip that over. And then two areas. So this one will move one, two, and attack that terminal. I'm really good at this. <laughs> And this one will move too, but there is no terminal to attack. Then the rippers all rippers are gonna move up to two areas to attack crew and closed doors in route. There aren't any closed doors, but the crew, I will let you hit me on that one. So he is a plus two. So but we do have a plus one defense. So yep. we have a, I'm a five then technically with that. And he's plus two. So, so they're all a one. four better. That was a good call. Nice. See, I knew I had faith in you. <laughs> well, if you want me to roll one and twos, I pretty much feel like I've got two in this game. <laughs> then the slugs will go, which we don't have any. We perform any special activation, and then the end of the rounds, everybody is new morphosizing. So <laughs> I'll let you place tokens under everybody. There's four. And the worms, please, no double hit points. Yes, they got two hit points. Uh, that's terrible. And then the Ripper has plus one damage. So he was four damage. Okay, so we have our work cut out for us with the worms. Because they have two hit points apiece now. Alright, uh, end of rounds. 
that will <laughs> move down. All right. And new round. Reveal. Fire suppression failure. Release Halon. Sector 5. Did we not just have that issue and it broke again? Whoa. They like the Halon. Hasty. Halon would actually be really handy right now. <laughs> but unfortunately, we were far away from getting that. All right. Uh, it's over to us. It is. Um... Do nothing in that room for you. Close the door. Well, I think I'm going to go first with the bioengineer. I'm going to try to activate the drone. So I just need a pip. And I got it. I got lots of pips. I was all pips. <laughs> so the drone is going to move. I'm going to move him into here. And then I'm going to repair that terminal. Then I'm going to try some electrical feedback. And I missed. I'm gonna try one more time. Because okay. right, I needed the uh, yeah the circle. Though. Yeah. And I missed again. So my engineer was working out really well, and then he just stopped. All right. Yeah. Um, that's my turn. Um, with him, I guess I'll go with the chemist next. So I'm gonna go ahead and attack with her. And I'll go against the um, go against the Ripper first, as he is. We got that extra bonus with him. It's definitely probably not going to be enough for that. So that's four, two, two. That's eight. Nope, not enough. I need at least a three. That's correct. And I got yeah, three. three. All right. So Ripper's down. So at least that's one of them. His token will be taken away. I have one action remaining. I will tack one of them in the room. And I did a wound to him. Okay. So that's all I can do with my characters. And it's over to you. What do you want to do? <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and play with my play with the terminal. the terminal and try to do a electrical feedback on your site there. Okay. What do I need? I need a pip and some uh, square with the lines. Nope. You got the pip. Pip, but no no square. No box. Okay. Number two. Okay. One of these to work. <laughs> No. Number three. Hey, you got it. All, All right. right. So that guy's dead at least. That was making me nervous because, again, they're probably going to need amorphosize if they're left around. So he would have just healed up all those wounds that I did to him. Yeah. The whole one. <laughs> <laughs> Even from far away, I'm looking out for you. Right over to your mechanic. We still do have this stuff over here too. Yep. We'll look for that. That would give us an extra panel for our xenobiology. Uh, I have to be in the same space to use the panel or the, the terminal. That's one two. Um. I'm going to go ahead and just move in here. Okay. And I'll go ahead and use the terminal again. That's again three. Okay. I'm to get rid of the other one. So here's my second. Mm, got it. So that's one damage on him. Yeah. Need one more. So you got close. the one. You just needed the pip. All right. Well, it was close. It was a good try. All right, uh, that's it for us. So it's on to aliens. Maybe we'll get lucky and it won't be a bad alien phase. All right, so we have no eggs out right now. The slugs and rippers would attack the walls, which we don't have any of those, so we got lucky there. 
all of the larva move up to two areas to attack closed doors. So this one will move and attack the closed door. So I'll let Do we have a closed door? Yeah, that one's closed. Oh, that door. So, and he, they are uh, plus one. So they need a four. Okay, one. You so are awesome. And then he is going to move down as well and do the same thing. Okay. And that one does damage the door. That's okay. We don't have a uh, compromised sector yet. Then uh, rippers and slugs and the aliens do not need more precise this time. So we got really lucky there. Yep. Okay, so round in the round, up. we are a little over halfway. Yeah, well, about halfway. That moves up. So, so we got to pick up the pace here hard. a little bit. Um, okay, I think that's it. Yep. Yep. So then it is back into our turn. So I'm going to go ahead and go with my chemist first. She's going to move one. She's going to pick up the objective, two, and then she'll move three. it back. So we've got one of our two objectives. And then it is over to these guys. So I will try to activate the terminal and control the drone. I got it with the two pips. So I'm going to move him back down here and repair this. And then I'm going to move over one. And I'm going to go ahead and grab that. So next turn, we'll get to place this out. OK. Uh, that's it for me. So that's over to you for your two. What do you want to do? Well, I'm going to go ahead and use my propels. Okay. That's, so that's one action. Three health. So that's back. Cool. Got one on this one. And then I'm going to move here. Okay. Take this as a second objective. All right. And that finishes up. So now the miner, I'm going to go ahead and use all oh, the terminals out of the area. Uh, in that case, here's one, here's two, and I will attack one of those. You don't have the range yet. Your miner has to be in some oh, space. Same spot. So I might actually stay in that other room. Which room? This one down here. Because okay. you guys still got to take care of that. I don't, I don't know if you want to go in there or not. It's up to you. Oh, over here. Yeah, I mean, that's this is we need this for the Halon if we want to use the Halon system at all. Okay. And then we can also build items in there. So, we tracked that, so that was just one move then. Yeah, and right. then you did do the terminal. Did you with him? No, I couldn't. Or no, because there right. was no point to using it. Yeah, that's right. So, so you just one. did one. So I'm going to go ahead and try to repair. Okay. Uh, your miner's got a pretty good repair rating, so you just need five, eight, three or better. Three or better. I'm only rolling one. I was going to say one's in, yeah. I was trying to make it sound like Oh, three. there's the there three. Okay, so you repaired the door. Okay, that's two. Yep. One left. I guess I'll there is that, uh, if you're feeling lucky, there is that death shot you can still build, but. You... Yeah, sure, let's do that. Okay. What do I need to do? It's probably better just to roll and see. <laughs> then it'll be a, the one die. Oh. For the construction. I want. I like the odds better. Okay. All right. No. 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 <laughs> nope. 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 <laughs> All right. Uh. So okay, we have a question here. Um, if a player is, has range one, can they attack through a door if it is open? Yes, they can. Because it's the areas are considered adjacent then, and we did do that earlier as well. So yes, you yep. can attack through a door as long as it's open. And it's the the very next sector, because each room is broken down into three different sectors, and they're numbered at the bottom of the tile. So yes, you can. All right. Um, that was the end of our, our turns. So it's over to aliens. So no eggs and no rippers. We do have larvae that are going to attack the walls. So we have two rolls. They are plus one. 
Walls are a five, so a five or better. You want me to roll a five or better? No, I don't want you to roll a five or better. <laughs> I'm hoping that you continue with this streak of yours. You had to roll a crack die, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, re-roll it. Oh. That's crack. Right? Yeah, that's a, that's a dead no. <laughs> that's, that's an emergency right there. <laughs> and we have not handled that other emergency no, at all. Haven't. We are slacking. Nope, don't oh, do sorry. It. That's all right. Okay. Uh, so then we don't have to worry about the other one. And then Rippers would attack and Slugs, which we don't have any. And they do not need a size again, so we're still holding in there. Okay. Uh, end of rounds. We'll move the marker down. And the new round. We have one that's going to go critical next round if we don't resolve it. That one's power drain. Electri the f electrical feedback is disabled. Oh, of course it's it is. one that we like to use. That is a good one. Put the top marker on there. Uh, okay. Uh, and back into our rounds. Uh, we do get this new panel that we can add in there. Um, the worms, we could. These are pulled defense. Do we have. Okay, so we have no eggs right now, so we this actually might be something we want to rearrange. So we could move this down to here. That would give us a plus one on the attack against worms. And then we could also, we could attach this to there then as well and get plus one attack on the slugs when they come out, if we get more slugs. So let's do that. Um, so let's rotate. Set this over here so that yes. we can see. Oh, you want to? Okay, let me set it up real quick and then you can shift it over. So I'll do that and then that. All right. Uh, so then it is into our turns to go. Um, I am going to. I will go with the chemist first. I will. I'm at the terminal, so I'm going to go ahead and try to handle that emergency that we need. To work on. <laughs> it's going to go critical real quick here. See if I can do some stuff. All right. So I've got, I've got the middle symbol, and I've got the four pips that we need. So we just need the beaker left on that top. And then I will try for the second one to work on the new emergency. That one we need. Beaker. We got this and that. So double beakers is what we need. <laughs> and then here's my tokens for those. Very well. Very All right. So that was two actions. And then I'm going to go ahead and try to do a construction to build that death shot. And I definitely have that. So I have a death shot. It's a single use item on a five plus. It does have a range of one. It does do four damage, so that could be pretty handy for when we get to a bad situation. All right, uh, that was it for her. Um, you want to go next, or you want me to go? Sure, I will go next. Okay. What do you want to do? I'm gonna move her here. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and try to fix that fire suppressor. Okay. Top one or bottom one? Top one. Okay. This time. Just need a beaker. No beaker. No beaker. No beaker. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Alright, I'm gonna try to do the bottom one now. I guess a beaker again. Lots of beakers. There's a beaker. There it is. So the bottom one's taken care of. <laughs> that is my three turns for her. Yep. Okay. And do you want to go, or... Yeah, let me go. Go there, and I'll try to, to resolve that, because he's got a pretty good science skill as well. Yeah. And there's the other beaker. So, at least those emergencies are taken care of. Uh, that was my second action. Third action, I will move over, and that's all I can do. So it is over to your miner to go, and we still have not dealt with the worms. I don't think we're going to get lucky again with the Neomorphosis. I think they're going to pop. But that actually might be beneficial. Because then at least they won't have the extra hit points. And we're really good at killing grippers. 
Let's see, so we've got our two keys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we need to start making our way back unless we want to get the Halon system. Oh, since it's available, we got two. Yep. Uh, I don't know. I don't really want to open another can of worms. Can of worms, literally speaking. Mm -hmm. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and move. Okay. So here's one. Okay. If you get lucky, you could actually take that uh, that one guy out. And I'll go ahead and try attacking one. Okay. So you get a uh, plus five, one. we get an additional plus one, so two or better would do it. Two or better. Uh, okay. Six. Oh, 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 better check it. Better check it. We gotta be fair. Still care. <laughs> <laughs> I really okay. want this. Like, yeah, you, you, you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, he's dead. <laughs> All right. Uh, so at least we got one down. Uh, that's that's everybody, right? That's, yep. yep. Okay. So alien turn. We have no eggs. Uh, rippers and larva. So we have one larva that is going to attack walls. I'll let you roll for that. Uh, he has just the plus one. So, and you you pulled it off. So we got a new emergency. <laughs> Always fun. Don't reveal it. And then uh, larva. One larva moves up to three areas to attack a terminal. So it's going to move back into there. And damages that terminal again. Then it is going to need more size. So token will go away and it becomes a ripper. So at least we'll be able to handle him a little easier for now. All right. Uh, that is Alien's turn. So it is back bottom. Yep. And then uh, we'll up. Deal the new one. Over. Here's your. Goes back the other way. Yep. Thanks. So let's see. Cameras are offline again. We need to disable our scan the two rooms. Okay. We haven't really tried using so. Yeah, I mean it would let us see what's what is in there, but yeah, I already know it's bad. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that should end beginning there so now it goes back to the crew yep and i don't think we really well question is do we want to leave it like that or do we want to change it back for the eggs because we'll probably have some eggs in here but i don't know if it's necessarily worth it overall but we don't have any worms either so that's the other bonuses that we're getting right now what do you think well let's see because you're saying the eggs yeah, so we'd have to drop the, the one back down. Um, I don't think it would hurt to have the eggs. I'm just trying to figure out the best way to rotate everything for that, though. Well, we would just drop that one down there. This one here? Yeah. Well, this all would have to go, wouldn't it? Well, we'll have to rearrange the, the other one that's connected to so it. you're talking about like this? Yeah. And then, then you could just connect it to that bottom one again and keep that, that bonus for the worms at least. Or, yeah. Yeah. Defense for the plus two. This is a plus one attack. Can't do that. Can't do that. Yeah. So, yeah, probably that bottom panel will probably be the only option. Yeah, we do this. Oh yeah, we can do that. What's that gonna do for us? It gives another plus one attack. Oh, on both sides. Yeah. So that's a plus four against rippers. Oh, he is toast. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. So back into our turns. Uh, who wants to go? I I have range on him, so I could handle him with the chemist, so you don't have to move back in there with the miner if 
you want to continue on with that next Can I repair with my mechanic? Repair that terminal, and maybe I could try to use the... And you could activate the drone. And then yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah, then yeah, you yeah. activate the drone to mm -hmm. try to repair. Yep. You can do that. Oh, no, wrong dice. You need a pit. You got it. Got it. All right. So you're repairing this terminal? Yep. Okay. All right. And then did you want to move the drone? You can move them up to three spaces if you want to move them. Um, no. Yeah, well, let's move them this way. Okay. So you down one, two. Yep, you're good there. And then you can do one more if you wanted to, or you can keep them there. I'll just keep them... Actually, we'll just put them right here. Okay. That way, if the egg decides to do whatever and tries to destroy the terminal, it's already there to fix it again. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and use the electrical feedback. Trying to see what we have to repair. Okay. No. No box. No bueno. All right. And third action. Oh. I'll do it again. No. No. Nope. Close. Uh, <laughs> it's the tricky squares. No. Yeah. All right. Uh, I will go with my chemist, and I will try to attack him. And he is toast. All right. So that was my first action. I'll second action. I'll move here, and the third action I will close the door because uh, having all these open doors is kind of bugging me out here. Uh, then I will go with my bioengineer. He's going to move one two, and you still have your guy to go, so I'm going to move into here for three and reveal this. So we've got two eggs, one in area one and one in area two, and then there's a slug in area two. All right, um, one, two, three. Yep, that's all I can do. So over to you. All right. Here's one, two. The other option that you do have, um, you could do a build. If you get lucky, there's a uh, there's a nail gun that you could get that does two damage. So you could get lucky. If you get lucky, you could actually take out the slug with your last action. If you want to try your luck on that. Sure, let's do that. Okay. So you gotta do a build action, which is your plus five. So if you just roll a two or higher, you'll build a building. Two or higher. Here comes the one. At least you get the reroll. Oh, 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 six. Okay, so you get the nail gun. Give me that nail gun. And then you get three bullets with it. And then if you want to, you can shoot it at the slug. Okay. Okay. If I it's, want to. Yeah, if you want to. It's a it's a five plus, it does have range of one, and it does two damage. So you could kill the slug in one, one shot. shot. Alright, let's try it. Alright. <laughs> well, it was good in theory. <laughs> Alright. Uh that's everybody. I knew so, the one was sitting there somewhere. Yeah, I was just waiting for you. All right, so we have two eggs. So I'll roll for one. I'll let you roll for the other. So I have we have some worms, and the Nothing. worms doesn't open. Woo woo. Then we have the one set of worms that's going to attack the walls. Nope. Then the worms one larva is going to move up to two areas and attack a terminal. Then all larvae move up to two areas to attack a closed door. So it's going to attack the terminal that it's in with right now. And it definitely damages that. And then it'll move two areas towards a closed door. 
as you can't damage a door that's locked right now because of the Amoeba keys. So mm -hmm. that'd be kinda counterproductive there. Then rippers would go, and then finally slugs. All slugs move up to one area to attack crew, attack closed doors and route. So you've got three on you, so I'll try my luck and see. I'll let you roll. Well, I've got six. Obvious. What's the damage on it right now? It's going to do four. Plus two. So I need you to roll a one. And you didn't roll one. No. <laughs> so four on me. That's all right. I can take a little bit. Okay. Uh, so that was the end of that. And then they're going to neomorphosize. So tokens. The worms get plus two to their attack. And plus one to their damage. And the slug now has three hit points. So he is going to be a little harder to bring down. And that is it. So that is end of round. And we really need to pick up the pace here. Things are winding down here pretty quick. Okay. Um, do we want to rearrange anything at this point? I could definitely I think... use a bonus to uh, to what those is that? slugs, which is this symbol here. So we need it up top there. So if you could swing that around, that will give us a plus one at least. Yep. All right. Um, it's into our turns. You want to go or you want me to go? Um... Uh, you can go. All right. Uh, so my chemist is going to attack the worms. Uh, worms are the blue ones. We don't we don't get any bonuses for blue right now, do we? I don't think so. Yeah, no. Nope. Okay. That's definitely not going to do it. That's my first action. Second action. Or worms are worms are a seven, so that will destroy the worms. No more worms. And my final action, I am going to try to repair that emergency. And we've got two pips. I've got the beaker, and that's it on that one. So we just need that square box. There's my token. Very well, very well. Uh, that's it for her. I will, might as well go with my bioengineer. I'm gonna go ahead and try to attack the slug. So he is a eight and I am at a plus five now due to our bonus. So I need a four, that's a miss. Miss. And a miss, I got one, two, and three. So I got rid of all the bad dice for you. So now, now you can. <laughs> it's, it's the same dice. Uh, okay. I'm going to go ahead and move her. All right. Here's one. Here's two. Here's three. All right. And then... It's down to the miner. And we need what to get rid of that ripper? Three hits now. Three hits. Mm hmm Five. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and just do standard attack. Okay, you need a three or better. Of course, I throw a one. Blech. Here we go again. Second one. There, so there's the one. I need to do it again. No. Just one. And that ends my turn. Alright, that is everybody. So then it is over to the aliens. We do have that pod. I'll let you roll that. Maybe you'll roll a blank again to keep that note. <laughs> it's a hydra. Alright. Then the rippers are going to go, which we don't have any. The hydra will attack the walls. Nope. 
And the slugs are going to go. One slug moves up to two areas to attack a closed door. And then all slugs move up to one area to attack crew. Stop at closed doors and route. Um, so it will move. There's Over. one, two, because that is a closed door. So it'll attack that. It is at... One. No, it does not damage the door. And then it's going to attack the crew, so on, on to my chemist. Right. Good. You got her. So, four damage on that. And... Your hand was in the way. <laughs> I knew you were going to blame that on me. And then that is it. They don't need more of a size. We at least got lucky there. So go with him. Okay. Uh, end of round. Looks down. Critical. Alright, and it is back to us. Um, yeah, I don't think we need to move anything around, so yeah. Uh, I will... I'm going to go with the chemist first, since she does have that little dude in there. She'll try to poke him. Three. Not enough. I needed a four. I need a four better. There's one. And I'll put on another wound on him. And then can I finish him off? Hey, there it is! <laughs> I got him. Good. On your last try, huh? Yeah, that's all she can do. So her turn's done. But at least he's down. Uh, and then I still have my guy there. Uh, so... Ooh. We still have that to deal with. So we I don't want to do that yet. Uh what do you want to do? Well, I am going to I'll try to go after that one with my mechanic. Okay. So I'll move here. That's my one move. Okay. We need open diamond. Mm, no. Nope. Nope. That's second. But you could do you could do a uh, one with the drone to repair the other terminal in there. Right. That way we can, we can try and go after it. All right. Let's see the drone. Need a pip? Come on, pip. No pips. No pips. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Okay. Right. So then it is over to us. You have the better repair, so. I don't know if you want to move in with a miner yep. and try to repair. Here's one. Two. Oh, no. You go this way. I can't. Oh. You can repair first, and then... I was going to... Because you've already oh. got a plus five, and it only needs a six. You just need a two. Two. I can feel it. There it is. All right. Okay. Okay. Terminal is repaired. It's back online. And we'll go ahead and do... Oops. This. Let's fix that. We don't need to use cameras anyways. Uh-oh. Not enough. <laughs> it's down to me. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. All right. So let's find out if this is going to go critical or not. We just need one symbol. One symbol. There it is. Oh, my God. We got it. <laughs> Ooh, barely. Yeah, that was close. All right, uh, and then I will attack the Hydra there that's in that space. He is a seven, so I will need a four better to hit him. And it's a miss. Oh, well. I'm satisfied with taking care of the emergency, at least. All right. Uh, that is everybody, right? Yeah. Yep. Okay. So we don't have any eggs. We do have... A Hydra that is going to attack the walls, so I'll let you roll for that. The larva. Larva. You got it. <laughs> so we have some, we have a new word to see. And then, uh, then he is going to need more size as well. Because the other aliens we do not have. And he gets plus one to his attacks. So not too bad. All right, uh, round fixed down. 
we are running out of time. <laughs> out of time. Motor Ooh, failure. Nasty. Remote control doors is disabled. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, I don't think we need to rearrange anything. So no, we need to. Take I will back. go with uh, my bioengineer first. I'm going to try to attack that hydra. I need a four better. Mists. I'm going to try it again. That is a hit. And then I will try to deal with that emergency. All right, I got four pips, five pips, and the, the box that we were trying to get last time. Okay. And then uh, my token. All right, so that's all that he can do. I will go with the chemists. One, two... And three. That's it for me. It's over to you for your two. Okay. Here's my move. One, two, three. Okay. And with my minor, I will go ahead and roll for that. Okay. That's considered a science touch, right? Or no. And you just, yeah, it's three dice. Oh, yeah, you got, got it. it. Nice job. You got it all. all. Right, so we took care of that emergency. And that was, that was my one. Yeah, that was just your, yeah. Here's two. So you get an item. Something good. Come on, something good. And a repair yeah. or build a build basically. Appreciate yeah. instruction on yeah. that guy. Yeah. All right. Um that's everybody. There are no aliens out right now, so I don't think there's gonna be anything nope, nothing on the card that we're gonna have to deal with. Round's gonna tick down. Dang. We have no new emergencies though, so that's good. Now we're just getting ready to open that door. Break through the door. All right. Um, so who's got the keys? You, the Me. mechanic, and the scientist. Yep. So I'll do a trade action with you to gain your key. If you're gonna give it to me. Ah. Oh no! Key down. Lost the key. Oh open well. Open the door. We know we have it. Oh, there it is. So that was my first action. Second action, I'll move up. And third action, I will open the door. Oh, dang. All right. So the door is open. So at this point. Uh, once we move in, I think it is. Let me check here. Let's see. As soon as the crew member enters Sector 7. So we have not entered yet, so we don't know what is in there just yet. Uh, so that is it for her. I will... Can we mm. scan? Mm. Does it matter? Not really. Okay. I am going to... I'll move back. I'm going to try a build option. I do have a plus one of my build with my toolbox. And a five. That's probably not going to be enough. If I, oh, did not be successful. Um, I moved back. I did that. I'm going to try it one more time. I really would like something. I got six. So I got the, the max shield. So it gives me a free. I can negate one hit for free. So that's good. Mm. I really wanted the bomb. <laughs> I was going with bomb, the nail bomb. Bomb, bomb, bomb. <laughs> boom, boom. So, okay. but that is all I can do. So it is over to you. What do you want to do? I'm going to get the bomb. Okay. I need to roll. I need to roll. It's four. a seven. So it's a build. It's so four better. Need a three. Oh, seven. Yeah, just four. You got it. You've got bomb, 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 bomb. Uh, what's that? It's a square. Here, I'm just that. All right. We have built all of the items we can build. Surely. Surely. All right. So that was, uh, so you got one action left with her. Yep. Uh, one moment, please. Moving back forward, basically. Yep. 
All right, and then it's the miner. You gonna? You wanna hold out here? You gonna? You gonna no, we gotta move. move. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're we don't have much choices. All right, we're going in. Going in. Here's one. All right. So we have nine alien eggs in this room. I only have eight tokens, so I'm going to place out another token face down. So we have a horde of aliens. Yeah. All right. Uh, what do you want to do? You got what, one action, two actions left, right? Yep. Smack bomb. some eggs. Yeah, you don't have bomb. Uh, I don't have bomb. <laughs> <laughs> nice try. Oh, wait. I should have gone back and built. <laughs> um, all right. You can either smack some eggs or you can get the heck out of there. I have how many more attacks? Two. Two. Yeah, two actions. Yeah, I'll get out of there. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not going to get out of there. I'm going to go ahead and you gonna swing. swing an egg. What do I need? Uh, eggs are eight. I think you missed. You got five, and I don't think we have the bonus for the eggs. We should have done We that. took it away. <laughs> to help you. Uh, help me. Remember, you needed that one dude over there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you got one action left. I'm going to run away. I knew you were going to run away. Run away! <laughs> took it out of your playbook. <laughs> All right, so it's on to the aliens. We know for a fact that they're going to spawn, so I'll let you roll, and you tell me what I need to put out so that we can... we got nine rolls. Nothing. Hey, I like that. Keep that up. Eight more times. Uh, slug. Yeah. Oh, it was almost on that one. Hydra. Looks like worms. Worms. Nothing. Nice. Hydra. Hydra. Two worms and two items so far. Nothing. Wow. Worms. Nothing. Wow. I like it when you run. <laughs> okay, so then uh, rippers and slugs, we don't have any. Then the larva, all larva, move up to two areas to attack crew. Well, that's bad. All right, so the worms are going to move in first, and you want to start by trying to play defense. Worms are at plus one, so you're at a five, so they'd have to roll a five or six. And you better roll, because I'm, I'm really good at rolling to damage you. But you've got the best defense. What's up? We need to do this next, so don't we? Did we skip over that? No, we haven't gotten to that point yet. We're still resolving aliens. Oh, uh, no. Well, well, well. All right. Uh, here, we'll play defense, I guess. I would assume you want to roll. You roll better than I do for that. That would have been, yes. <laughs> That's even better. There's a one. So then we have the second guy that's going to attack you. Okay. He, he hits. And he does two damage. What is the... Uh, what is that again? Is that a slug? Uh, oh. Worms. Now the slugs are going to move in. Do we not have... No, we had... Those are worms, right? Uh, the worms are going to be the blue, the blue ones. So then the slugs are going to attack. Uh, slugs. These, this is cool. For the hydras. They're the same as the worms, basically. So, you mind taking those? At least one of them for now. Let's see if you miss that. If you don't take damage from that one. All right. Okay, so that's a miss. And the last one. No, that's it. Two more damage. So I'll put you up to what? Seven? Yep. Okay, so we gotta watch you. Okay. 
Uh, rivers and slugs are going to go, and then everybody's going to need more facades. So we've got the worms there, and then all these guys. String will fit. Yep. All right. So let's see what happens with that. So first the worms get plus one to their attack, and one damage, plus one damage. And then I got to shuffle these for the hydra. No extra hit points, please. Good. Just the damage. So we just got to churn through those guys. All right. Uh, that is the end of the round. So timer moves down. We are getting critical here. We've got a couple rounds left. And it's... Uh, yeah, we have to take care of those too. If we can clear these guys, we can drop a bomb in there and take care of that. Uh, sure. All right, so I'll go first with my... Oh, we should probably rearrange that. <laughs> if we can get any bonuses out of this. What is... Are we looking at? Uh, so the... I don't think there's any bonuses for the Hydras. The Hydras are going to be like the, uh, the little flower thing. Yeah, I don't see We can those. definitely get bonuses for the Worms. Which is the blue. Yes. All right, let's see. So that'll get us at least a plus one. So that'll help. Uh, so so we want, I will go with defense and attacks, I'm assuming. Yeah, attacks for sure. I, we should be able to churn through these guys in enough time. So oh, that's plus zero attack there. I'm going to move him up one, and then I'm going to attack the... I'm going to try the... I'll try the Hydra, because they're a little harder. I need a at least a four with them. And I got it. So Hydra's down. And I got one attack left. I'll go after one of the worms as they're a little easier. Either three or better. That was, that was a good call. So I got a worm too. Alright, then it's on to my chemist to go. She will attack the worm first. Three, got it. Um, I don't know if this is a good setup or not. Maybe there's. And then the Hydra, I need a four. And it's a six. All right. So I've cleared the aliens from our path. For that. Um, That's what I set up. For... And I'm going to stay there. So. Do you want to go with your mechanic and drop that, that grenade in there? Sure, but I wanted to make sure I just arranged this and... Okay. Um, I don't know how that looks to you. Uh, you got eggs, you got... So this one wouldn't give us a bonus because we have defense and then offense there. They have to be the same symbol to get bonuses. But we don't have any rippers anyway, so that's... Uh... Yeah, that should be all right. Look at that. The other side, you got the rippers up there. Oh, yeah. I think that'll work. So what do I have to roll now? The bomb, the bomb, the bomb. Uh, so the bomb is a six plus. I gotta move in, right? One. Yeah, you gotta move up one. Yep. Because it has a range of one. Okay. And then you're gonna chuck the bomb in. You need probably at least twos. Probably. No, it's the this one. Yeah. Right? Twos. It replaces the other. So. All right. Just don't roll low, and and then we won't have to worry about it at all. There you go. <laughs> All right, we gotta make sure. <laughs> hey! My hands shake. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I see. <laughs> All right. All right. So the bomb goes off. It does four damage to everything in there, including the doorway. So the door is gonna be busted open. So we're gonna have to repair that. But it clears out the aliens. And 
and all that. So that's good. Uh, so that was, you moved up one, threw the grenade, so you got one action left. Um, only move, I guess. Yeah. At this point, yeah, we gotta try to push. And then you still have your, uh, uh, minor. Minor. Okay, so here's my one, two, Repair. Repair, yeah. That'd be good. I need three or better. Of course. <laughs> All right. Uh, round ticks down. We have no aliens right now, so there is nothing on these cards that's going to bother us at the moment. So it is back into our turn. Um, I think we're set up pretty good as far as our xenobiology, I think, for the moment. So it's over to us. Uh, what do you want to do? I wouldn't worry about the door because no. I can I can take care of it with the bot. Uh, we need to clear this room. Okay, so just walk through it. Um, let me go with with her first, so I can trigger the room, so you know what to deal with at least. So we have two pods, one and two, and then we have rippers in one and three. Let me set up right for that. Or no? So then it's over to you. Um, Sorry about that. Oh, yeah. Well, I, I can guess go I'll... with my... Let me go with my bioengineer real quick. I'm going to do... I'll try electrical feedback first. Oh, okay. No. Then I will try to activate the drone. I got that. Now I would have got I got the symbol that I need for electrical feedback. So one, uh, one, two, three, and I'll repair. And then I'll try it one more time with electrical feedback and see if I can get luck. And I did. I got it. So I am going to. I'll take. Do you want me to? I'll do the because we got better bonuses with the rippers, right? We still got a couple of bonuses with them. So right, right. Yeah. Uh, we got plus, plus one, plus one. And then plus one, plus one up there. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm going to take care of the egg with that electrical feedback. All right, so that is it for both of my characters, so it's over to you. For your first. That's one. One, two. Oh, that's yours? Yep. Your guys there. Oh, yeah. Here's one, two. Okay. Might as well just attack the Ripper, because you got so many bonuses yep. right now. Which ripper should I attack is a question. Mm -hmm. uh, let's go. We'll, we'll hit that one. Okay. So you've got a plus four, plus four there. So it's. Uh, is it a kill? Yeah. <laughs> hey! Oh, now roll high, right? <laughs> yeah, now you're going to roll high. One, All right. So two, that's three. it for you. Okay. You have the miner left. All right. I'm going to go in with the miner. Okay. You got an egg in your space, and you still have the nail gun, so you could attack the egg, and then if you get lucky, you could shoot the nail gun and potentially take out the ripper as well. Yeah, so I'll attack the egg, which okay. is plus you one, plus one. So that's six. There's your better. Three or better. You got it. Egg's gone. Eggs are gold. Time to use nail gun. Nail gun. Five, and that's a... Ripper? Mm hmm So plus four to that. So I just have to spend a bullet and you're pretty much guaranteed. Unless you roll a zero. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Not even you could pull that one off, I would think. Oh, that's true. I'll just stay broken the entire time. Okay, so that's it for him. Uh round counter is gonna move down. So we're at the last round. And we don't have any emergencies to handle. Oh, we have to do a card. But, uh, yeah, there's nothing that's going to trigger from that. So then the round moves down. Then we go into a new round. We have no emergencies at this point. So the so we have to get the pass key, get to the terminal, and we have to close the door. So I'm going to go with my engineer first. 
I'm going to try to activate the terminal to close the door. So, what do I need for that? To close doors? For... The, beaker? the beaker? Yes, just the beaker. So, I'm going to try the beaker. No nope. mists. We'll try it again. Mists. Should have just gone and closed the door myself. And I will try one more time. And then I got the beaker. So I'm going to close that door. All right. And, you know, let's put this one so that, since it's not locked anymore. All right. So that is it for my guy. I will move one, pick up, and move back. That way you guys can trade with me to get it. Okay. Um, and then it's your turn. So remember, we still have to close the door, and then we got to activate the terminal. Okay. And you so it. trade with me. Okay. What you go with? Uh, minor. Okay. That's one move, right? So I would have gone with her first and then close the door. Okay. That way then you can move with the minor and activate for your last action. Sure. <laughs> so you move over for your second okay. then you would use the pass key to trigger the terminal right the room is secure we have no humans in there that was part of our objective and the doors are closed this door opens we have cleared the ventilation and saved the station on the very last turn <laughs> so we won oh then i got stressed out for okay <laughs> well so that is it so I hope you guys found the video helpful. Again, if you have any questions or comments, leave those in the comment section below. And we'll do our best to answer them as they come through. And I hope, what did you think of it, Tam? Did you have a good time? It was a nail biter, that's for sure. Yeah. We were we were slacking my, behind there a little bit. But, I uh, don't know interested. why I roll the way I roll. That's <laughs> all I could think about. So, <laughs> but pull that one out of uh, yeah out of my hat or yeah. our hat. So it was yeah. a good time. All right. Well, again, Thanks I hope you guys yeah enjoyed it, and uh, we'll see you later. Um. Yeah. We got Joel asking if we oh, can yeah. explain how the halo works. Oh yeah. The halo or the halo? Yeah. Yeah, we can go over that. Um. Maybe, so first off, with over. this uh, particular scenario, we weren't able to use it in sector seven and eight, which is these two rooms here. So that was the only reason we didn't really push hard to get it. But basically, how it works. We would have had to get into this room and grab this token, which would have placed it in here. And then at a later point, we would have to do a science test just like anything else to activate the Halon. When we do, we would pick a room and all the aliens in that room would be eliminated from there from the with the uh, Halon system. And then that token would go away again. So there could be multiple tokens out in different scenarios that would let you use it multiple times. But yeah, it's like a it's like a little nuke for each individual room. But yeah, we didn't really have a chance to show that one. No, much. in actuality, which would have helped been helpful for like that room, but and that, but we were running out of time, and we'd had to to push in there to <laughs> yeah to get that. Uh, though was uh, the, risk versus reward on that one. All the spawning slugs, larva, whatever. Let's see what would have been in there just out of curiosity. We would have, ooh, that would have been a bad one. We had two pods. A ripper and a slug. So, yeah, that, <laughs> that was probably more yeah, that beneficial would have been, not to go in there at that, that point. Probably would have been the game changer as close as we got down to the end there. Yeah. Cool. Well, um, hopefully that answers that for you. And is there any other questions? Uh, yeah. Anybody else have any other questions for us? We'll uh, give it a couple more seconds and then we'll take off here. Well, I'm gonna wait for I've, the video to kind of catch up for it. Yeah, um, I think I think we're good here. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for joining us for our live playthrough and our Q and A. Uh, hopefully, we'll get to do some more of these. Yeah, let us know in the comments below what you think of this as well. If if you like the way that this is set up, if the video is clear, if the sound is good, if there's anything else you want would like to see as a live playthrough. And uh, yeah, until next time. Yep. No we'll problem, Joel. See you later. Yep. Thanks, guys.
Have a good night.